And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Andrew Huffman, who writes in, Hey, John, I was just wondering if you've seen the trailer for the new Grudge movie coming out. I know it's a bit old, but I'm curious. Is this a spoof or is this serious? I can't (laughs) tell. It looks awful. Bring on the filthy as always. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And uh, yeah, you would be forgiven if you didn't realize that a movie opened last night, uh, a, another remake of the great Asian horror film, Juan, called The Grudge. I believe it was Sarah Michelle Gellar, Rob, did, did a Grudge version before. Yeah. Um, and now they got a new version out and nobody knew it was opening. Nobody knew it was opening. I didn't see one trailer for this thing other than online a few months ago. And again, you would be forgiven as an individual if you had no clue that this, despite the fact that John Cho was in it, and I really like John Cho. So despite the fact that he was in it, there was just absolutely no word. And then to compound the problem, the movie opened last night. And up to one hour, I believe, Rob, before the film opened, there were still no reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. The review embargo had not been lifted up to one hour before when the film started playing publicly. Well, we might be able to know why now. When you go over to Rotten Tomatoes now, as you guys can see here, there are reviews now up because the film is public. Uh, It has a 17% critic rating. And the audience, the verified audience score, remember, these are people that are verified they did go to see the movie, a 20% verified audience score. For, for first of all, I want to know how those 231 verified audience members even knew this movie was opening because a lot of people didn't know. So, Rob, I, I have not seen the film, all right, because they kept it a big secret. Uh, they kept reviews because you would think if you're not going to have a big ad campaign, you would think you're really going to focus on getting the the media to talk about it then. If you can't have a big ad campaign and they still kept that under wraps, now we know why. So my question here is, Rob, understanding that there's been no buzz, and maybe you have heard some buzz. I'm going to ask you that in a second, Rob. But consider from my point of view that there has been absolutely no buzz on, on this movie whatsoever. Like I've heard nobody talking about it. Considering that they hid the reviews as long as they possibly could, And now considering that we have reviews and those reviews are to say the least unkind (laughs) at this point, the the question we raise here now is, and I don't, I don't mean to be negative or gang pile, but I I, got to ask the question, is anybody going to go see grudge this weekend? And I'm going to be very curious to see, to see the numbers, Rob, I'm going to be very curious to see the numbers, but I I just don't know that anybody's going to see this thing. I'm thinking I could be way off on this. I don't know what the tracking numbers are. I'm guessing under 7 million. I'm guessing under 7 million for an opening weekend. I don't know, Rob. Number one, have you heard any buzz for this thing? And do you think anybody's going to go see this this weekend? Well, I think judging by the audience score, the audience already has a grudge against the grudge, John. <laughs> uh, no, you know, this, it never, movies that don't work or don't do well that are theatrically released always give me great pain. I always feel bad for everybody involved because it's so hard to get a movie out theatrically these days. But I I wonder, you know, we already had an American remake of The Grudge. So now they're they're remaking a remake of an original Japanese film. I mean, I wonder who thought this was a good idea. We live in a world now where there's so many great horror franchises coming out whether it's Insidious, even Insidious 4 was pretty good, directed by Robitel, Adam Robitel. You've got the Conjuring franchise, which has two spinoffs now, Annabelle and the Nun. You know, there's 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 horror. John Cho's last movie, Searching, which was a really interesting, wonderful, a wonderful movie. Wonderful. I, I bought the Blu-ray. Um, really innovative stuff happening, and there's a lot of I know personally a lot of great horror filmmakers who are trying to develop new projects. I mean, Robitel's new; he's making Escape Room too right now, and I just wonder what what was the purpose and the thinking behind this kind of 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 a movie? Because horror is doing well. A twenty four is crushing it with their horror releases. 
Antlers that's coming out that's produced by Guillermo del Toro looks bananas. The new Mackenzie Davis film, The Turning, which is uh, an updating of The Turning of the Screw. There's really great horror. Horror as a genre genre is really healthy. So why go back to a, a film, a series that was relatively played out? And I, I don't understand. There's some great talent involved with this film. And I have to tell you, John, I thought the trailers looked pretty good. I and agree. It, I, I I finally got around to sitting down watching all the trailers that they did put out online. I thought they were creepy as hell. They I like the trailers. I did too. And it's it's really it is really upsetting to to because I was to be honest, I was looking forward to this. And to hear that it's not great, it just bums me out. Whenever whenever a horror movie comes out that's less than great. Uh, Because it's one of my favorite genres. I I just wonder, what was the thinking behind this? A quick buck? I don't know. Anyway, question is, guys, for you, have you been... Oh, First of all, let me ask you guys, were you even aware that The Grudge was opening this weekend? Because I know there are a lot... Maybe you were. Maybe you thought, yeah, we all knew that this was opening up. Maybe you hadn't heard of it at all. And do you have plans to go and see it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right. 